All right, I'm going to do this one real quick for you. Um, we're given that the tangent uh, of theta is 4 thirds. They tell you two sides of a triangle. You know all three of them. This is uh, Jennifer pointed this out, that, that you can draw this triangle. You've got the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side is 4, the adjacent side is 3, and you can figure out that other side. It's been drawn to scale, but um, 3 squared plus 4 squared, so this is the square root of 9 plus 16, square root of 25, so this is 5 on the hypotenuse there. Likewise, over here, they tell you the cotangent of phi, this was theta, the cotangent of phi is 3 over 7, so cotangent is 3, 7, that's this angle here, and then you find the hypotenuse, and when uh, Jen did this one, uh, she made just one small mistake right here. Uh, this would be the square root of 9 plus 49. I think you've had 9 plus 7. You've got to square the 7. Anyway, so that uh, that hypotenuse there is the square root of 58. Okay. Now it's possible that can be simplified, but um, let's just leave it as the square root of 58 for now. So once I know those, you know, those two triangles, I've got any trig function I want for these two angles, theta and phi, because I just grab the two sides I need. So now down here, I want the sine of theta plus phi. The sine of a sum identi identity says this is the sine of theta times the cosine of phi plus the cosine of theta times the sine of phi. Um, now, just grab all the pieces you need here. Sine of theta would be opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of phi be adjacent over hypotenuse and the cosine of theta would be 3 over 5 and the sine of phi would be um, sine of phi where am I there over there so 7 over the square root of 58 I was pausing there because I just glanced up at my uh, computer screen and noticed um, another mistake that I think Jen points out where she made that mistake. But uh, So we're right here. We've got a common denominator um, already. So there's a 5 times the square root of 58 in the bottom. And there's a 12 plus 21. So we're looking at 33 over 5 times the square root of 58. Now how that's entered into WAMAP, I'm, you know, I'm not exactly sure or I'm not sure that I really care. Um, but if you can get this, that's that's good enough for me. It's possible that, that you, the, the, you know, WAMAP wants the, the denominator rationalized or the square root of, maybe there's a factor 4 in there. No, no, there's not. Anyway, uh, Things you got to do, you got to get the triangles drawn for those two. If they give you one trig function, you can, that's two sides of a triangle. You can use Pythagoras to get the other side, and I've got all three trig functions. Then you can use the ones you need in this uh, in this identity. So, um, anyway, uh, there's uh, there's that one.